Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be testing out the Pretty Mess Collection from Too Faced. This is a new collection in collaboration with Erica Jane. I'm going to be showing you guys the entire collection as well as testing all of the products out. I'll show you guys how I got this look. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> the entire collection in front of me I'm excited to dig into everything so I think first I'm gonna start with swatches so in case you're curious on swatches of the collection so here is the eyeshadow palette here the pretty mess palette this one retails for $42 there are a total of 12 shades in here along with a mirror as well. So I'll go ahead and show you guys swatches from this palette. So here are the swatches from the palette. So you do have a range of shimmers and then also mattes in this palette. And then there is one glitter shade here on the bottom as well. And then you also have two different highlighting products. So we have a body like illuminator for your all over body. And then we also have a face highlight. So here is the face highlight right here. That one is $30. And then the body one, this is the body illuminator and this one is $36 so in here you just have like the giant little puff here with the product inside of there. So I went ahead and I swatched the highlight. So this first one here is going to be the highlight and then this one down here is the body illuminator. So lastly, we have the lip products. So there are two different lip kits. These are gonna be $29 each, and in each one you get a lip liner and then also a lip gloss. And then we also have one of their lip injections, lip gloss, a part of this as well. So I went ahead and I swatched them so you guys could see. So there is this first one here, which is gonna be the polite one. And then this one here is gonna be the dirty. There's like two different lip kits. So the polite one is the first one. And then the second one is gonna be your dirty one. And then the last one there is gonna be the lip injections lip gloss. So now you've seen the swatches. Let's go ahead and get into testing the products out. So I'm first gonna go in with my eyes with the Pretty Mess palette. And I'm gonna first go into the shade Close Off and just use that one first just to kind of buff around my eyes just to make us have a smooth base. I'm also just gonna put this into my cream crease as well. Just going to help when blending the other shades. This is kind of just like a bone color. It's going to be very similar to my skin tone. So after I've laid that shade, I'm going to go into show and tell, which is the second mat right here. And that shade, I'm just going to place further into my crease, kind of just start that out as our first transition shade and just blend that one into the crease. Don't mind the lash glue in this eye. Honestly, you guys, it's been there for days. I've been picking at it. I've tried to get it off and it is not coming off. It's driving me crazy. So that shade blended out nicely into the crease. Now I'm gonna go into the Rich is Better, which is kind of like a really pretty mauve shade. I like this one a lot. And I'm going to work that shade into the crease, deepen this up a bit. So there is one glitter shade in this palette. I feel like glitters are in every palette now that I see. I like the fact that there's only one though, so it's not like the entire palette. If that's not something you're into, it's not gonna deter, deter you away from getting this palette because it's only one shade. I do like the fact that they just added the one and still gave you like enough shimmers to create more wearable looks because I feel like this palette in general is very wearable. It's very neutral tone palette, which I know a lot of people don't always love, but I know a lot of people can only wear neutral tones and really enjoy these type of palettes too. I like having a mix in my collection. Obviously, you guys know I like to play with color, but I like also a lot of neutral tones as well. So to build that up even further, I'm gonna go in with Frugal, F in Frugal, I'm not gonna say that, but there is that. This whole palette, or this whole, not the palette, but the whole collection in general, it's a little bit naughty. Um, I'm not too familiar with her. I know she's like from Real Housewives and I know she has a few like songs out, um, but I'm not very familiar with her as like a character. So I don't really know too much about it. I've actually, the only Real Housewives I watched was the Real Housewives. I don't even know which one that was. I think it was Miami is the one that I watched. And I only watched it for like one season and then I stopped watching it. So I don't even know if it's still on. But I got pretty into it when I was watching it. I think I would probably like them. Maybe I need to just like find them and just kind of watch a bunch of them or binge them or something. I don't know if you can do that, but... I feel like I'd probably like it. I normally like shows like that, but I've just never gotten into them. Sometimes I like to open my eye too and kind of blend it that way. I have very hooded eyes, so sometimes I kind of have to find myself doing different tricks to get my blending to be where it needs to be. So I'll sometimes just like look straight in the mirror and just start blending even knowing my eyes are open just to kind of make sure those edges are good. I still feel like this darker shade that I did go in with is a little bit choppy, 
but I don't think it's bad. I think the mats in here perform nicely. So I'm gonna cut the crease now. I'm just gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I am going to just cut the crease really quick. I am just gonna do like a half cut crease. I've been doing this a lot lately. I just really enjoy the way that this looks on my eyes. So I do just look down in my mirror and I just begin to place the concealer on my eye. This is my favorite brush here from Moda to do this. It's just like a detail brush. And I always bring it a little bit further than half just so I can like feather it out a little bit as well. I have it about halfway. This is when I'm gonna go in with the shade. I'm gonna go in with Show and Tell and just a little bit of that on a clean brush and I'm kind of just gonna feather out the edges of this because I don't want it to be really harsh. I just want it to be nice and blended here on the edges. So my brush is shedding here, but I just kind of want to buff this into there and then I'll deepen it up as well. So for the shimmer, I want to use the Sextravagant, this one here. It's kind of like a champagne shade and I'm going to pick this up on a Sigma brush. I am going to spray my brush just because I want it to be really foiled. So I'm just going to spritz my brush a little bit and apply this one over top of where I cut my crease. I'm actually going to pick up some more because I don't think really showing up. I think I'm actually going to use my finger because this isn't as pigmented as I was hoping it would be. So I'm just going to pick it up. Yeah, that's better on my finger. Sometimes I feel like the warmth of your finger just makes shadow so much more foiled too. Oh my gosh, I did a peel yesterday and I can literally see. <laughs> I hope that that hasn't been here the whole time. Clearly I did not get all the peel off last night. Gross. Oh my gosh. That's embarrassing. So I went ahead and did my lashes. I just put on these Princetta lashes from Delarza. And then I also did my lower lash line. And for that, I basically just did the exact same thing with the mattes that I use just on my lower lash line. I'm going to test out the highlight now. So I'm going to go into this one first. And then we'll try out the body highlight as well. So I'm going to actually mix this inner shade with this outer because it's going to be two different shades. So I'm kind of just going to mix those two together. And I'm just going to apply it just right here at the the high points and we'll see how that goes on it definitely looks very glittery you guys know how I feel about a glittery highlight I don't really love it so I don't know if this is gonna be a new favorite for me um, I don't really understand the point of glittery highlights I just maybe if you just have like skin that doesn't have any imperfections on it because on me just like it just highlights it just kind of highlights all of my texture and I have these dimples right here and I also struggle on like that side of my face with those dimples just like everything just you know, sitting on top of them. So definitely a glittery highlight for sure, but it is a pretty color. So if the glitter doesn't bother you, then you might like this one. For me, it's probably not gonna be something that I'm gonna be reaching into too much because I'm not a fan of the glitter. So I'm just gonna spray my face a little bit with some setting spray just to help kind of like melt that highlight in. And then I'm gonna go in with the illuminator. So this just has like the puff and there's a lot of product on it right now so I'm kind of just going to slap a little bit of it off here. Oh gosh. Um, these aren't always my favorite either because I feel like they, they can get really messy really quick. But I'm kind of just going to do this on my chest. That's why I wanted to wear this shirt. So, oh wow. Whew. That has a fragrance on it. Oh my gosh. That has a strong fragrance. Whew. Okay. So I'm just going to blend it out with a brush here. It's definitely very, very golden. It might be a little bit too deep for my skin tone. I don't know that I'd really use the puff. I'd probably more or less just go in with the brush because I feel like the puff can get pretty messy, but it's definitely cute packaging for sure. I like this one. I think it looks nice. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna go in with the lips. So I think the one that I'm gonna use is the Defined Sexy Lip Kit. And so this one has the kind of like a more nude gloss, which is what I love more. So I'm gonna use this one. It has like a kind of like a pinky lip liner and then we have the nude. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this. So I actually put it up a little bit too high. This is my fault and I broke it. So I'm hoping I can kind of put it back in there. We don't waste all of it. Ooh, I just pushed it up a little bit too high. That's the only thing I hate about like retractable lip liners is like if you press too hard, they might break or if you like put it up too high, it might break. So because we're gonna use a gloss over top, I went ahead and lined like my entire lips. The formula of this feels very comfortable. Like I said, I had a little bit of issues with it falling out, but I think that was my fault. Now I'm going to go in with the Pretty Polite Gloss. This one's kind of just like a pinky gloss, and I'm just going to go in with this over top. So it has a tiny, tiny bit of glitter in it, but not a lot. It's just like really, really shiny, and it feels pretty comfortable. It doesn't feel like too sticky or anything. 
I actually like the formula of this. I'm going to try out the glitter injections one. I've actually never tested that formula before. I'm just going to throw a little bit of that on top just because I want to see how it feels on the lips. I think these are the ones that people say kind of like sting, but I'm just going to top the lip a little bit with this because it is more of a pinky color, so it's not really going to look the best with this eye look. But I'm just going to put it over top. It smells really good. So adding that one on top definitely made it a little bit more sticky, but I still don't feel like it's like too sticky to where my lips are sticking together or anything like that. But this is going to be the final look using the Pretty Mess collection. I had so much fun playing with this. So kind of just like throw my thoughts out there. The highlight is a little bit too glittery for me. I'm going to continue to try it out. I don't think it looks bad. I just think that it's like highlighting this texture right here that I don't like to highlight. So I don't know if this one's going to be a new favorite for me. Uh, the eyeshadow palette I thought performed really nicely. I did really like it. I didn't have any issues with any of the shades. Of course, I'm going to continue to try these all out though and I'll come back and let you guys know. But I want to test out the glitter in here and just test out the rest of the mattes and the rest of the shimmers in this palette as well. And then the lip products. So we used the one lip kit. I did like the lip pencil. I feel like it was very pigmented, easy to use. And then I also really liked the lip gloss that was a part of that. The lip injection, I can feel it like stinging a little bit, but it's nothing bad. It doesn't feel too intense. I'll be curious to try it out like not on top of something else like not on top of another gloss and see how it does and then the illuminator um, I don't think that for the puff I don't think I like the puff but I think it looks really pretty you can see quite a bit of glisten on my chest I think it will be really nice in the summertime but that is going to do it for this first impressions using the pretty mess collection let me know your thoughts down below are you planning on getting anything from this collection let me know if you guys watch Real Housewives, which one is your favorite, and should I watch it? Let me know down in the comment section. Give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.